Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What I Watched, and this is episode 4, What I Watched in January 2022. Yes. Alright, so, um, we got a, we got a big one here today. Um, we got a lot of movies for this one. We have 26. Yes, I've watched 26 movies in January. I, um... I mean, as I said in my uh, last video, my review for eighth grade, um, you know, I was I was I was gone off YouTube for a little bit because I was sick, and uh, I was gone for about I want to say two weeks maybe. So I had a lot of time on my hands, uh, and so I watched a lot of movies. And yeah, I've watched tw uh, twenty six movies in this whole entire month of January. So, uh, last month. So, um, so this is probably going to be a long video. I'm going to try to keep this at least under 50 minutes. So, it may go over 40 minutes, but just a little heads up. But I'm going I'm to try not to talk too much about these movies. Just, you know, I'll just say as much as I can. I'll try to at least. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyways... All right, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right, so January 2nd. January 2nd, um, first movie, not only the first movie that I watched for January, but the first movie I watched for the for the year so far was um, a Coen Brothers movie. I, I was This was whenever I was finishing up my Coen Brothers ranking, and if you haven't seen my Coen Brothers ranking, go check it out, but... Um, but yeah, the first movie I watched for the whole year was Barton Fink. Yeah, Barton Fink is... I really like this movie a lot. If you've seen my um, my Coen Brothers ranking, then you know I put this at number four. And yeah, I, I liked it that much. I thought this was a first time watch, I should say. This was the first time watching this movie. And I I really liked it a lot. Um, I need to re-watch it, um, but... It may go up into like one of my favorite movies of all time. I really liked it, and um, John Turturro, of course, was great as the title character, and John Goodman was probably the show stealer. Which is a great film. Um, again, I need to rewatch it some more. I've only seen it once so far, but I really enjoyed it, and yeah, that gets uh, four stars. Spartan Fink, great film. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Great film. Okay. All right, January fourth. Um, a lot of these first uh, few films are Coen Brothers movies. Actually, this next, the next one after this one isn't a Coen Brothers movie. You know, we'll get to that in a minute. But, but this, uh, the second one is also a Coen Brothers movie. Um, I watched for the first time the Hudsucker Proxy, and as I said in that, uh, in the Coen Brothers ranking you know it's okay it's not i didn't think it was bad i thought it was i thought it was okay um i like the over the top performances by uh tim robbins and jennifer jason lee they're both really good in this movie uh, and the movie itself isn't bad you know it's okay um it kind of it kind of bored me a little bit but but you know i i still thought it was a, an okay film at least so yeah um yeah hudsucker proxy gets uh two and a half stars i am going to keep this because i want to like this movie maybe the more times i watch it, i might like it so so yeah i'm keeping it in my collection so yeah hudsucker proxy two and a half stars okay january 5th i watched for the first time a movie i reviewed for the channel uh go check it out if you haven't already and this was the last movie i reviewed before i went away for a while um this was um the green mile yeah um dream mile uh, again yeah what can i say just a great film um i don't like it as much as i like uh, shawshank redemption but it's still a great film i kind of think it's a little bit too long but it's still really good uh tom hanks of course and michael clark duncan is the show stealer as john coffee and i even liked uh I really liked. Actually, no, he was kind of more of a show still, even more than Michael Clark Duncan. But I really liked uh, Sam Rockwell's performance too. He he was 
like I said, he was the standout, actually. And, yeah, Green Miles is a great film. It also, it made me cry. This was only the third movie to ever make me cry. The others being Her and uh, Million Dollar Baby. Yeah. Um, yeah, Green Mile. Great film. Uh, that gets four stars. Just like uh, Barton Fink. Yeah. Okay. All right. January 7th. Uh, I watched, I don't have this one, but I watched, uh, yeah, these next four films are Coen Brothers movies. Okay. Um, I watched for the first time The Man Who Wasn't There. Um, as I said in the in the ranking, you know, I thought it was I thought it was okay. Um, it could have been a lot better, honestly. It was a little bit boring, but you know, it was a little interesting. I just need to rewatch it. Um, I liked uh, Billy Bob Thornton's performance and Teresa McDorman as well, and even Scar Johansson was pretty good. You know, it's just it's it's a, it's a decent film. Um, really, I thought the third act was actually the best part of it, but, um, I didn't think the first two acts were as good as the third act, but, you know, it's an okay film. Uh, Man Who Wasn't There, I gave that, uh, two and a half stars. Alright, and then, uh, also that day, also on the 7th, I watched, um... A movie that most people consider to be the least favorite Coen Brothers movie, but as a, as if you've seen my Coen Brothers ranking, I actually ranked this at number eleven. Uh, that was the Lady Killers. I what can I say? I actually liked the Lady Killers. I thought I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was entertaining and funny and weird, but I liked it. Um, Tom Hanks and uh, J.K. Simmons were really good in this movie. They were funny. And um, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I like this movie. What can I say? It's not a great film, but, you know, and I do get whenever people say it's their least favorite, but I liked it. I like it better than, I, I like it better than uh, El Caesar. That's my least favorite Coen Brothers movie, and most people like that. Well, eh, some people like that movie. I don't really understand why, but, but no, I, I liked Late Killers. I thought it was funny. So, yeah, that gets... Uh, Three, three stars. Three stars. Okay. January 9th, I watched for the first time uh, A Serious Man, another Coen Brothers movie. Um, eh, wasn't really into it that much. I didn't think it was bad. I just, I don't know. It just didn't really do much for me. I believe it was nominated for Best Picture. I think it was. Um, you know, I, I just, it just, I, it just didn't do much for me. I give... I gave that one two stars. Okay. Um, January 10th. This is the last Coen Brothers movie I watched. This was, uh, it was, uh, the remake of True Grit. Um, I like True Grit. Um, I actually put this a little, a one below, uh, Lady Killers in my ranking. I actually like Lady Killers a little better, but yeah, I like True Grit. I didn't love it. Uh, there was some parts of it i didn't really care for i thought the first act was kind of slow and i didn't really care for josh brolin unfortunately he was the villain i didn't really care for him and i didn't really think much of matt damon either but but jeff bridges was really good uh but my favorite was actually Haley steinfeld uh, and she was like 13 or 14 but she is really good in this movie she was my favorite part of it um but yeah um true grit you know, it's, it's good. I don't love it, but it's good. Um, that one I gave, I gave that three stars. All right. Now, all right. So now January 11th. All right. So this movie right here, this one, uh, I also watched for the first time. All these, these first few films are, were all first time watches. Actually, the next movie after this one, it was, was, was a rewatch so yeah but this was a first time watch for me and this was a movie i was actually thinking about reviewing but i i don't know i just didn't that, that was actually around the time whenever uh, i started to get sick so you know i i don't know i just decided not to review it for some reason but um the movie i'm about to talk about this is a uh, midnight cowboy yeah, Midnight Cowboy. That was the uh, Best Picture winner from 1969. And uh, also, little known fact, it is the first and I believe only uh, 
X-rated film to win Best Picture, which nowadays I think would probably just be R because really it's not really there's not really a whole lot of stuff that would like get like a why don't you think the X rating is even a thing anymore? Now it's NC seventeen, but even I don't even think it would really get at NC seventeen now. I I don't know maybe, but to me it seems like it would just be an R now because it it really wasn't like a whole lot of stuff. I mean there was some nudity in it, but I think the reason you know this was nineteen sixty nine, so I think I don't even think R rated films really had a whole lot of nudity then. I I don't know so. Um, so I guess that's why it got an X, you know, but it really isn't that bad of a, I mean, that, you know, controversial of a film, at least nowadays, is what I'm trying to say. But um, what I th thought of the film, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I didn't love it. Uh, it's probably a movie I need to watch some more. Uh, I'm thinking about pro possibly getting it on DVD or Blu-ray. You know, I thought it was a good movie. Um Dustin Hoffman is in it. This was one of the films to put him on the map. Well, I think, actually, I think he was already a star because this was actually after The Graduate. But, but yeah, he was great. Also, the the uh, lead actor, what's his name, John Vaught or something like that? I don't know. I could, something like that. He was very good, too. He was the lead character. Um, they were both really good in the movie. They had great chemistry together. Um yeah, you know, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I just didn't love it. Uh, and it's not my favorite film for 1969. That would be Easy Rider. I thought that is a... I think that's a little bit better, honestly. And I just personally like it better. I don't know if it was nominated for Best Picture, but I don't, I'm not sure. But if it was, it sh I think it should have won, honestly. But, but you know, I thought Midnight Cowboy was okay. I, I thought it was good, at least. Just not amazing but yeah um it was decent i gave i gave that one three stars okay all right uh now january 13th i watched two movies this day this first one we went from an x-rated movie to a g-rated movie um, <laughs> this is a a pixar movie uh this i was doing this for my Pixar ranking and I should say most of these movies are actually just, I was watching for my for for these rankings I'm working on so like the first like it's kind of a pattern what's what you're about to hear we go from Pixar movies then to Martin Scorsese movies and then to Tim Burton movies and then and then back to Pixar and whatnot so yeah you're gonna notice a pattern for most of these films I think there's only one movie that's not in the pattern that we'll get to, but anyway, so yeah. Um, so yeah, January 13th, I watched, I rewatched uh, A Bug's Life for my Pixar ranking, and A Bug's Life is a divisive Pixar film. A lot of people, there's some, there's people that like it and people that don't. I'm on the, I'm on the positive side. I, I like A Bug's Life. I think it's pretty good. Um, it's I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite Pixar movies, but I think it's decent, you know, at least. Um, and I like the villain, Hopper, who is played by uh, Kevin Spacey, who, of course, will never be in a Pixar movie anymore, obviously. But, but I really like the character Hopper. I kind of wish he was in it a little bit more, though. That's that, that's probably my biggest complaint. I wish he was in the movie a little bit more, but I did like his character. Um, I did like him. He's a pretty good Pixar villain. I just wish he was in it more. But yeah, Bugs Life. It's a decent Pixar movie. I I don't I don't really have much complaints. It's not like like I said. It's not a. Uh, it's not one of my favorites and it's not i wouldn't even say it's a great pixar movie but it's okay i like it better in ants and that year yeah 1998 you know both of bugs life and ants came out in the same year and and uh i really i don't like ants i actually reviewed ants for the channel go check it out if you haven't already but i did not like ants i thought ants was really boring but I like A Bug's Life. I do. So, yeah, that one I give uh, three stars. And then the second movie I watched that day, was I rewatched uh, The King of Comedy. Yeah, Scorsese film. Yeah, this was the second time watching it, and I don't love King of Comedy. I think it's very good. I just kind of think, I don't know. I kind of think, hmm. I kind of think it could have, 
been done a little better. And I kind of think, I also think it's a little too short. Like I think, I think it could have been longer and I just, I felt like it was rushed a little bit, but of course I got to say Robert De Niro gives an amazing performance in this film. This is one of his best performances without a doubt. And Jerry Lewis also is very good too. Um, but I have to be honest, I like Joker better. I do. I like Joker better. I even think Joker does the whole mental illness thing, uh, the theme of me- mental illness. I honestly think Joker does it better than King of Comedy. I might be controversial. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. I I just think, I just personally think Joker is better. But King of Comedy, don't get me wrong, is very good. Um I gave that one four and a half stars. So yeah, that's probably a movie I just need to rewatch some more, but I'll get it on DVD or Blu-ray someday. But yeah, it's a good movie though. King Comedy, yeah, four and a half stars. Okay, January 15th, I watched two movies uh, again. Um, this one is a Tim Burton film. I rewatched, uh, I actually reviewed this movie. Go check it out if you haven't already. I rewatched. Ed Wood. And I had to say, I liked it better the second time watch it. I liked it the first time. I thought it was good, but I didn't love it. This time, though, I liked it a lot better. Like, this is a really good film. Um, Not quite my favorite Tim Burton film, but it's definitely up there. Maybe in the top three. I can't remember where I ranked it, but it was like top five or top three. I, I, I really like it, and this is this is probably Johnny Depp's best performance, if I'm going to be honest. I, I think it is. He's he's amazing in this film. And, of course, Martin Lando as well as uh, Bella Lugosi, who actually uh, won the Best Supporting Actor Award and beat, I believe, I know Morgan Freeman. I know he beat Morgan Freeman for Shawshank Redemption. And, I don't know, was Sam Jackson, was he nominated too for Pulp Fiction? I, I don't know, but... If he was, I honestly think Sam Jackson should have got it. If not, if he wasn't nominated, I kind of, I kind of think Morgan Freeman was a little bit better than Martin Lando, so I think he should have got it. But I can't complain too much. Martin Lando is very good, so you know, at least this did get at least one award. You know, a uh, Martin Lando won Best Supporting Actor, so yeah. I, oh, actually, it says winner of two Academy Awards. I don't know what the other one is. Not sure, but but yeah. Um, but yeah, very good film though. Very good film. I highly recommend it. It's probably might be Tim one of Tim Burton's um, underrated films to be honest. It's a great film. Uh, yeah, Ed Wood that gets um, four, four stars. Four stars. Yeah. All right, and the second movie I watched uh, that day on the fifteenth was another Pixar movie that was um, Toy Story two. Uh, yeah, I like Toy Story two. Um, out of the first three Toy Story movies, it's my least favorite, I think. Uh, I do like it better in Toy Story 4, so it's not my least favorite Toy Story movie. But Toy, Toy Story 2 is very good. And I actually, some people even think it's, it's some people might even say it's the best Toy Story movie. And some might say it's better than the first one. I, I don't agree, but I do get it. Because it is a very good sequel. It is a very good sequel. Um... I just personally like the first one better, and I think I like three better. I don't know. Maybe that will change whenever I get when I watch three for the ranking. But, but yeah, Toy Story two is very good. I um, I, I like it a lot. So yeah, that one gets uh four and a half star. No, no, three and a half stars. Three and a half stars. Yeah. All right. January sixteenth. Uh, this one. I actually got for Christmas for my cousin, and this was a first time watch. And this is a Martin Scorsese film. Uh, it was After Hours. Yeah, After Hours. Yeah, my cousin got me this for Christmas. Uh, he really likes this movie, and I love this movie. After watching it, I love it. This this is a very strange film, especially for Martin Scorsese. But I really liked it a lot. I thought it was done very well in some ways it kind of reminded me of brazil like an american version of brazil in some ways in fact i believe it even came out the same year as brazil ironically uh, 1985 but 
I really liked this movie. I thought it was very well made. Um, and it doesn't really feel like a Martin Scorsese film, but it's still it's still very good. And also, who who would have thought that Cheech and Chong would ever be in a Martin Scorsese film? <laughs> I, uh, I I'm a big Cheech and Chong fan, so I I, I, uh, I liked them a lot in this movie. They were in it too much, but I they they were great though. Um, yeah, after hours, uh. Love this movie. I'll talk more about it whenever I do my Scorsese ranking. I might even rewatch it after I finish the ranking, just for the hell of it. But maybe, maybe you'll. I don't know. But as of right now, this is honestly my second favorite Scorsese film after Taxi Driver. So yeah, um, I loved After Hours. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. I give that. Um, I gave that four and a half stars. Yeah, almost five stars. It's a great film. Recommend it. Okay, uh, January 17th, I watched, uh, rewatched uh, another Tim Burton film, Mars Attacks. Um, I don't know. Mars Attacks isn't a great film, but it's kind of like a guilty pleasure, honestly. It's, it's very cheesy, but I think it's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be a dumb movie. Um, I love the Martians. The Martians are great. Um, some of the performances are either hit or miss. Uh, J- I like Jack Nicholson as the president. I didn't really care for his other character, to be honest, though. The other one, he plays two characters, Jack Nicholson does. I didn't really like the other one, but I liked him as the president. Um, and I th- thought Danny DeVito was kind of funny, too. He wasn't in it too much, but he was kind of funny. Um, Tom Jones was funny. I thought it was dumb that he was one of the survivors. I guess it's a spoil a spoil alert. But yeah. But that was pretty funny though. Um I don't know. It's it's not a great film, but it's it's okay. You know, it it's cheesy in a good way, but it I don't know. I kinda felt like after this was my second time watching it, I didn't like it as much as the first time, to be honest. Because I really liked it the first time I saw it, but Second time watching, I didn't like it as much, but I still like it okay, you know? It's it's okay. It's cheesy as hell, but it's okay. I give Mars Attacks uh, three stars. All right. January 18th, another Pixar movie, and this one is my favorite Pixar movie. If you know my channel, you probably know this. Uh, Monsters, Inc. Yeah, Monsters, Inc. I... I've talked about this movie a lot on my channel. This was one of my favorites as a kid. In fact, this was even the first movie I ever seen in the theaters. I was, uh, I believe, I was three years old, and I loved it ever since. You know, and I still do. John Goodman and Billy Crystal give great performances as Sully and Mike Wazowski, and also Steve Buscemi as Randall as well. And Boo, Boo is one. Um, Boo is one of the most adorable characters in pixar movies you know who doesn't love boo yeah it's it's a great movie it's it's funny it's cute it's you know it's it's just a great pixar movie and honestly my favorite animated film of all time like this is honestly i don't know i don't have very many uh animated films on my favorite movies list i wish i had more but i would probably I, this is definitely on there, though, for sure. I love Monsters, Inc., and I gave that one five stars. This is the only movie on this list I gave five stars to, but I love Monsters, Inc. What can I say? So, yeah, five stars. Okay, number 19. All right, number 19. I rewatched a lot of people's favorite Martin Scorsese film. Not my favorite, but don't get me wrong. It's a classic. Goodfellas, yeah. Yeah, what, what, what do you mean funny? Like, I'm a clown? I make you laugh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe Pesci, without a doubt, is the show stealer. Um, also, Robert De Niro, too. Very good. And I like Ray Luita as well. Ray Luita is great uh, in this movie as uh, Henry Hill. Yeah, you know, great film. Um, the only reason why it's not one of my favorite movies of all time is... And I don't know. I think at the moment it might be in my top five favorite Scorsese films, but I don't know. I don't love this movie like a lot of people. And the reason why for 
why that is because um, I have problems with the third act of this film. I don't know. I just don't think it was done very well, and I don't think the ending is very good, to be honest. I don't... I know, I know. I might might get some heat for it because some people think that this is a masterpiece. I'm om- I almost believe that this is a masterpiece, but not quite just because I... I just don't care for the ending. The ending in particular. But the third act in general is kind of eh. Um, but, but other than that, you know, it is a great film. Just not my favorite Scorsese film. And it's not even one of my favorite movies of all time. But it's still a good movie. Um, very good movie. Goodfellas, four stars. Okay. Alright, two movies for uh, the 20th. Uh, first one I watched was rewatched, uh, Big Fish, Tim Burton. I've said it a bunch of times still. I do kind of feel like that this is like kind of more like a Coen Brothers movie, but you know, still it, it does have some Tim Burton, uh, it does have some of his stuff in it, you know, his fantasy stuff and whatnot. Um, Ewan McGregor is great in this film. Billy Crudup is good, too. Not really, I don't really care for Albert Finney very much, who plays the same character as Ewan McGregor, but older. I don't know. I don't really care for his performance, but Ewan McGregor is great, though. And, yeah, it's just, it's a very good film. Um, it's, Along with Ed Wood, I would say this is one of Burton's uh, most underrated films. Yeah, yeah, I really like Big Fish. Um, that one, I give, I give Big Fish. Oh, I give Big Fish uh, four stars. Yeah. All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna fix these. All right. Yeah, some movies fail. I had to fix them. Okay. All right. Also on the twentieth. I, I don't have it, unfortunately, but I rewatched uh, Find an Nemo. Find an Nemo was also, along with Monsters, Inc. Uh, and the first Toy Story, was one of my favorite Pixar movies growing up, and it still holds up, just like Monsters, Inc. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite... It wouldn't be one of my favorite movies, but I still enjoy it. I still like it a lot. It's definitely one of my favorite Pixar movies. Uh, Dory is really funny in the movie she could she could have easily been been an annoying character but i don't know i didn't really think she was that annoying honestly um she's funny what can i say um also like of course like you know bruce and crush and even the other main characters like marlin and nemo but and i like the tank gang oh and gill gill played by willem dafoe who is probably my favorite character in the movie um yeah Great film. I yeah, Finding Nemo is a very good Pixar movie, and uh, it is. Um, I gave that one four stars. Gave a lot of movies four stars lately. Yeah. Now this one I didn't give four stars. People are probably gonna hate me for this one. So on the twenty first, I actually watched two movies on the twenty first, and first one I watched uh, was. Scorsese, it was Casino, which I did review for the channel. Go check it out if you haven't already. I still stand by. I don't care for Casino. I don't like it. It's boring to me. I'm, I'm sorry. Do I think it's a good movie? Sure, it is good, but this movie is just not interesting to me. Like, I just don't care for it. Um, the, performance, the performances are good. I'll give it that. You know, De Niro and Pesci and even Sharon Stone's not bad. But in, in, in one scene in particular in this film, which I won't really say it because it might still spoil the film, but I'll just say it's Joe Pesci's final scene in the film. That is the only scene that like really kept my attention while watching this movie. Other than that, this movie is just boring. I... I'm sorry, people, but I don't. I don't like Casino. I think I even liked it less than I did the first time watching it. I just don't like it. Um, so that one I gave two stars. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Casino. There's another Scorsese movie we'll get to in a minute that I even dislike more than Casino and. 
a lot of people like it too so you'll probably hate me even more but we'll get to that much later all right also on the 21st and <laughs> i have to be honest i like this movie better i'm sorry because a lot of people don't like this movie i rewatched uh charlie and the chalk factory tim burton remake i like this movie I'm sorry. I do like this movie. I liked it ever since I was a kid. Now, of course, of course, it's not as good as the original. The original is ten times better. G. Wilder is is Willy Wonka, not Johnny Depp. Which I have to be honest, though, Johnny Depp's okay in this movie. I don't, I don't know his joke. His humor is hit or miss, but when it hits, it hits pretty good. Because I, I actually laugh at a I laughed at a few parts with I laughed at a few jokes of his but, but yeah um I don't really like Freddie Highmore very much as Charlie he's very bland but uh I thought the all the other kids were pretty good though and their parents are very good as well um and I love Deep Roy as the Oompa Loompas um here's a hot take here's a hot take I actually one thing I do like better about the remake than I do the original is honestly the Oompa Loompas. Yeah, I said it. I I like the Oompa Loompas better in the in the remake than I do than the original because in the original they don't. I don't know. I, there's just something about the Oompa Loompas in the original I don't really care for. I mean, for one thing, they sing basically just one song. You know, of course, with this they changed the lyrics, but in this version. They sing these different different kinds of songs, and they're like in different genres. And I like the Oompa Loompa songs in this movie better than do in the original. But that's the only thing that I like better in the remake than the original is the Oompa Loompas. Other than that, the original is far better. But yeah, I know that that's a little controversial. But yeah, um, but yeah, you know, I I like Charlie and the Chalk Factory. I'm sorry, I do. And yes, I like it better in the casino. So, when it, you know, whenever, as I always do in these videos, I always, after I finish, you know, talking about these movies, I do a quick ranking of them. This is going to be higher than casino. I'm sorry, but it is. So, <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I gave that uh, three and a half stars. Yeah. I like it. Okay, we got uh, six, six movies left. All right, six movies left. Okay, uh, 22nd, I uh, rewatched another Pixar movie that was uh, The Incredibles. And I actually, uh, I watched, I, re I remember last year, early last, I think it was on the first day of last year, actually. Um, I rewatched The Incredibles because I was actually wanting to do a Pixar ranking then, but then I changed my mind about it because I was like, eh, I don't want to do, I just want to do reviews for now, but now, you know, I'm doing ranking. So, so yeah, I rewatched The Incredibles, but I remember back then of last year, I actually didn't really like it very much, uh, rewatching it, but this time I liked it better. Um, now I will say. I'm not a huge fan of The Incredibles. I know. A lot of people love The Incredibles. A lot of people even say it's their favorite Pixar movie, which I kind of get it, but I don't know. It was never my favorite as a kid. I always thought it was good. I always liked it as a kid, but, you know, I just never, it was just never, like, one of my favorites. I always liked Toy Story and Monsters, Inc. and Finding Nemo better. I even liked Ratatouille better than uh, The Incredibles. Um, but... But yeah, you know, I, I, I rewatching it this time. I, I I like it better. I mean, I liked it better than that other time watching it. Yeah, excuse me. Um, yeah, Incredibles. It's it's good. Um, I have to say though, I'm not a big fan of the superhero aspect of the film. I mean, I do like the the idea of you know a world where superheroes can't be superheroes anymore, so they have to you know stay as their secret identities i like that but i don't know um but like you know what you know like in the third act and all whenever they're back to being superheroes it's kind of eh, not really my thing but i do like uh, the family the par family they're all great um and i you know I, I like this movie better as a family movie not as a superhero movie you know 
But I do like the villain, though, Syndrome, played by um, Jason Lee. And I like, of course, Frozone, played by Sam Jackson. They're probably my favorite characters in the movie. Uh, But, yeah, Incredibles, it's fine. It's not a... I don't love it, but, you know, it's it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm thinking about getting the DVD, though, just because I had the DVD whenever I was a kid. And I remember the, the second disc was really cool. had some really good special features on it. So I'm thinking about getting the DVD again. But I don't know. I'm just not a huge Incredibles fan, but it's okay. Uh, Incredibles, I gave... Well, okay, I gave it four and a half stars uh, just because it is a good movie and I I liked most of it. I just thought the third act was... Oh, some of the third act, you know, the action stuff was just kind of eh. But... You know, it's it's still it's still a good movie. So yeah, three and a half stars I gave The Incredibles. Okay, twenty fourth I uh, re I watched for the first time uh, Martin Scorsese film Gangs of New York. Um, now I bought this DVD before I watched it, and um, I'm at, I'm keeping this DVD because I have to be honest, I didn't care for the movie that much it honestly was kind of boring but at the same time it was also interesting (laughs) i mean i don't know if that makes sense for a movie to be both interesting and boring but that's what this was it was both interesting and boring um i like the story and i like uh the performances by leo and uh daniel day lewis i actually like leo a little bit better than daniel day lewis i thought uh, daniel day lewis was good don't get me wrong but this was actually my second daniel day lewis movie after there will be blood and i don't know his performance in this just it, it didn't blow my mind like like there will be blood did but he was still good. I liked Leon. I liked DiCaprio better, but still, you know, it's it's it, yeah. I, I'm gonna. I'm actually by the time like like I might do it for after hours too. Like I said, but when I uh after I finish my after I watch all the Scorsese movies, I think I'm gonna rewatch this and maybe I'll like it better. But yeah, I am keeping the DVD for now. So yeah. Uh, Gangs of New York, I gave that um, two and a half stars, but uh, that might change. We'll see. Okay, last four movies. 26th, I, w- I rewatched a movie that I haven't seen in a long time. Like, honestly, I think since it came out. Um, that was Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Um, I th- it was okay. I didn't hate it. Like, I thought I wasn't going to like it that much because when i was a kid i loved this movie but re-watching it uh i didn't hate it it was okay it's not great but you know it's okay i will be honest though i actually liked alice the 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 actress who played alice what's her name and it's mia something i i i don't know i can't remember her last name but i thought she was okay i think some people might not have liked her that much in this movie but I thought she was okay. I mean, she wasn't like her performance wasn't great, but I thought it. I didn't think it was too bad. You know, I thought she was. She was honestly. I thought she was the best part of the movie. If I'm gonna be honest, like I did. I thought she was great. Um, I know I had a big crush on her whenever (laughs) this movie came out. Um, so maybe that's why I liked her a lot in this movie. I don't know, but (laughs) but. Still, though, I thought she was the best part. I didn't really care for Johnny Depp. Uh, Hello, Bob Carter was okay. She could have been better, but, you know, she was she was all right. Anne Hathaway, eh. She was okay, too, I guess. But I thought the chick who played Alice was pretty good. So, yeah, Alice in Wonderland, I thought it was okay. I didn't hate it. I just thought it was okay. That one I gave two and a half stars, um, along with Gangs of New York, but... Yeah, it's okay. All right, um, twenty seventh. I rewatched. Okay, uh, this was two movies. First movie I rewatched uh, Cars. Yeah, for the Pixar ranking, of course. Um, 
Cars was a movie, a movie that a Pixar movie that I was never really that into. I didn't really grow up with Cars as a kid. I watched it as a kid, but I didn't really like it that much. Um, rewatching it as an adult for the first time, it's okay. <laughs> it's not great, but it's not terrible either. I think it's an okay kids movie at least. You know, I think it's harmless for a kids movie. Uh. You know, it's just an okay film. That's all I'm going to say about Cars. It's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cars, I gave two and a half stars. That rhymes. Okay. All right, and then the second movie I watched, was, which was the movie I... The last movie I reviewed, Eighth Grade. I'm not going to talk much about this movie. Just go re-watch... Uh, I mean, go watch my review for Eighth Grade if you haven't already. If you want to hear me talk about Eighth Grade. But... I, I'll just say this. Very good film. Very good film. Uh, I just It's just another movie I need to rewatch, and maybe I'll love it, but very good. Uh, I gave that four stars. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to pause. I'm almost done, but I'm going to pause this video for a second so I can charge my laptop. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, this is the last movie I watched uh, for January 31st, the last day of January. I watched Shutter Island. Yeah. Oh, man, this movie was so boring. <laughs> rewatched it, by the way. I don't think I said that, but I rewatched Shutter Island, and I did not. I didn't like it the first time, and I still don't like it. This is just an, it's a boring movie. Even more boring, the casino. I really did not like this movie. It had a decent performance by Le by DiCaprio, and there were some moments that kind of got my attention, like the rat scene. But that's basically it. This movie it has an interesting premise. It has a good twist at the end, but still, it's just not. It's just not done very well, in my opinion. It's just a, a very boring movie. Um, and also, what's funny is that originally i was gonna uh you know i watch this on the 31st and i was gonna just watch some of it and then continue it the next day but um but it actually said on netflix that it was going to be taken off on the first that the 31st was going to be the last day to watch it so i'm like well shit okay i'm go i guess i'm gonna have to finish it then <laughs> but the entire time while i was watching the movie i was just on my phone it was that boring. I, I, I'm sorry, people. I know, if you like Shutter Island, good for you, but I don't like Shutter Island. That gets a one and a half star. Yeah. Not a fan. Okay. All right, so let's do a, a quick ranking of all the films I watched in January. All 26 films. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Number 26 is Shutter Island. Yeah. 25, A Serious Man, 24, Casino, 23 is Cars. I like Cars better than Casino and Shutter Island, I know. Uh, 22, The Man Who Wasn't There, 21, Alice in Wonderland, 20, Gangs of New York, 19, The Hudsucker Proxy, 18, Mars Attacks, 17, Midnight Cowboy, 16, A Bug's Life, uh, 15, True Grit, 14, The Lady Killers, 13, um, The Incredibles, 12, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, 11 is The King of Comedy, 10, Toy Story 2, 9, The Green Mile, 8, Big Fish, uh, 7, Goodfellas, 6, Ed Wood, 5 is 8th Grade, 4 is Finding Nemo, 3 is Barton Fink, 2 is After Hours, and number one is Monsters, Inc. Yeah. All right, there we go. There's my, my what I watched in uh, January video. Sorry, this is a long video, but yeah. So in the comments, uh, what did you watch in January? And what's some of your favorites uh, that I listed in this video? So yeah, please like, comment subscribe and hit the bell and i'll see you next time for a review okay peace